Hey guys, Dan Tech here. Today I have with me the Garden Secrets Solar Powered Animal Repeller, which is this thing over here. So it uses three different things to uh, deter and repel animals. Um, here we have the ultrasonic. I don't know if you can see here, ultrasonic uh, speaker over here. It pulses different uh, frequencies between 12 hertz and 35 kilohertz. To uh, it's it's uh, it's a screeching sound. I mean, it's one of those frequencies is like blowing one of those whistles. that are just in, in, in these frequencies. They really repel animals. And then we have an audible speaker here that uses different pre-recorded sounds, uh, like a gunshot, sirens, bear squeal, banging sounds, dogs barking, and so on. It cycles through different sounds, so it never has one particular sound being played over and over. That sort of in increases the overall effectiveness and then it uses LED lights we have eight over here we have four on each side that um, it sort of pulses like piercing through sort of very bright and it, it, it frightens animals in that they, they don't want to have these lights just hitting them basically uh, we have here the sensor if you notice, if you look closely, there's like several different circles. Each one of them is a sensor in there. And it picks up a wide range and a wide angle of, of view for uh, any type of motion. We have two different power sources here. Uh, over here we have a solar panel. Right there. And it stores that solar panel into these batteries. These batteries are NICD, which stand for nickel cadmium. And they are each 800 milliamps each, and it comes into a total of 3,200 milliamps. Sort of amount that, the amount of power that you would have on your cell phone. And then we have a power, another power source here. This is a regular outlet. It's a 12 volt uh, outlet. The cable is not included, but you could get any standard one. Uh, pretty cheap, pretty pretty cheap. We have a different modes here. Let me see. We have a volume knob over here. You have an off and the three modes. And we have different frequencies for the ultrasonic over here. Let's see if I can focus it properly. It's too small to see. I'll put a picture up uh, with these more of a macro shot. So I'm gonna go through the different modes real quick. Uh, the first mode, mode one, right here, is simply an audible repellent. It it uh, takes out sounds through the speaker with these pre-recorded sounds as I mentioned before of a gunshot, siren, bear squeal, banging sounds, and dogs barking it cycles through different sounds. And then we have mode 2 which is the ultrasonic uh, sound waves that shoots out frequencies between 12 hertz to 35 kilohertz which is this thing here. And then we have mode 3, which is a combination of both modes, modes 1 and 2, and it uses the audible sounds and the uh, ultrasonic frequencies to repel animals. And in nighttime operation, there's in modes 1 and 2, the sensor automatically switches the LED's lights on. So regardless if it's in mode 1 or 2, the repeller is going to operate silently using these lights to just flash a little pulse. So let's test them out a little bit over here. Let's go through mode one. So yeah, so it goes through dogs barking first for all three modes. All three modes it will have dogs barking. Now let's see if we go to mode two, mode three, I don't recommend using these around pets because the ultrasonic is really bad for around pets. Here we go. You can see the lights flashing as well. And we have the siren there.
I'll turn the knob for the ultrasonic sounds. Alright, so, works really nice. So let me explain here, there's a little hole here, which is for this stick that is uh, provided. There's no glue or anything needed, it just, just sits on top of it. This goes into the ground. Pointy piece here goes straight into the ground. It depends on how much you want to go. go. Uh, there's also the back cover. This over here holds the batteries in, in place. And two mounting holes right there. Screws are not included for the mounting holes. Uh, they are standard size mounting holes that you could just put them in, slide it down, and you're good to go. So once the cover goes in, there's screws, there's a total of eight small screws that tightens the, the back cover, which are provided. These are provided, by the way. So, screws over here. Alright, and then we have the screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, that is provided as well for those screws.